You recently invited me to spend your birthday with you at the South Bay Correctional Institute in Palm Beach County, Florida, out on Lake Okeechobee. And here's some pictures of you and your beautiful wife there praying with us and some of the inmates there. Um, and you talked about Devin Hamlin and the number three and the power of that three. And there you and I are talking. So, so talk to us about what you're doing out there and your service to these inmates. You know, the, the, the vast majority of the Bible were, were written by men who were murderers and uh, adulterers, and many of them were in prison uh, writing the, the Word of God. And I think that's a place that we all need to spend a little bit more time to understand uh, what real redemption looks like, what second chances look like, you know, what the Spirit of Christ looks like. And so we run programs in these prisons. You got a chance to see our Second Chance Center. Uh, and I'm on the board of the GEO Group, and I'm so proud uh, to be on the board of this company uh, that's really setting the example for rehabilitation and human rights across this nation. Uh, and so all, all we do is, you know, we're a faith-based group uh, in there, and you saw those men praying together, huddling together, uh, and they really are uh, the example of what redemption looks like. And I, I just encourage everybody to keep those in prison in their prayers. The Bible tells us to do that. Uh, and John, I'm so uh, just humbled that you were able to spend that time with me uh, to really see the work hands on. The humility is all over here, Jack, on this side of the conversation. It was a humbling experience for me, too. And I had one of the inmates actually pull me aside and tell me, you know, before uh, he'd been at a lot of institutions, you know, a lot of correctional facilities around the state of Florida, but he never had the hope for a life after prison until he was at that facility, the South Bay Correctional Institute, partly because of what you're doing with those guys, the vocational training and giving them a second chance and a new outlook on life. When we talk about criminal justice reform, this is the stuff we're talking about, not this soft on crime mm -hmm. crap that we see from these liberal right. prosecutors, but actually reforming these guys, redeeming these guys, and giving them hope and purpose. Thanks so much, Jack. Thanks for being a great friend. As always, happy birthday to you, brother, and we'll talk soon. Thank you, brother. God bless you.